that was the opening question in Thursday's New Zealand election debate, and one many supporters of the incumbent Prime Minister may be asking themselves as his National Party suffered its worst poll showing in 12 years. In a development no one would have predicted only a month ago, a resurgent Labour Party has swept into first place in a new poll conducted for state broadcaster TVNZ. The poll, released Thursday, put Labour up six points at 43%, with National at 41%. New Zealanders go to the polls on Saturday, the 23rd of September 2017. The party with a majority in the 120-seat House of Representatives forms the government, meaning only Labour and National have a realistic chance to take power without forming a coalition. But, just as UK Prime Minister Theresa May was stunned by her Labour opponent, Jeremy Corbyn, who overcame the Conservatives' huge polling lead to steal their majority and force them to form a coalition with the far right up, English has found a far stronger opponent than he expected. If elected, Arden would become New Zealand's third female Prime Minister, and the second youngest, after Edward Stafford, who became Premier in 1856. He was also 37, but born later in the year. The decision by Arden's predecessor Andrew Little to give up the leadership in the run-up to an election was an unprecedented move, said Grant Duncan, an expert on New Zealand politics at Massey University. While there may have been an underlying desire for change from the three-term national government, the only likely alternative under Little was an unsteady coalition of Labour, Greens, and New Zealand First, Duncan said. Jacinda seems to have created momentum for people shifting their growth into the Labour Party, he added. Suddenly an alternative Labour-led government really is looking viable. While his predecessor Key was very popular, the 55-year-old English has struggled to match Arden's charisma and energy, Duncan said. But English was attacked by Arden over housing prices, a key election issue. Making predictions for how opinions will change in the last few weeks of the campaign is even more difficult than normal, Duncan said. No one thought we were going to be in this position now, he said. All bets are off.